morning because we've had people over at Christmas and well, I've had to make room in the garden for parking so I've been shunting my van round uh, so because it's, I've been starting up and stopping it and it's not in existence the battery's flat so first thing I'm going to have to do is put the battery on charge I'm afraid Right, we'll give that a couple of hours and it should be alright. Yeah, it's gone flat twice this year. I think the problem is I only go four miles a day in it really. So it doesn't really get a chance to charge the battery up. So we're just shunting it around the garden this, this week. It's proper drained it so I need to put a proper charge in it and then uh, take it for a run. I'm off to pick my granddaughter up this afternoon because we're going to a party. Uh, and that's, uh, that'll give it a good... 10, 15 mile or whatever it is round trip, so that should charge it. Right, <coughs> what a mess I work in, you know, I've got to admit it. I, I've got a decent sized workshop, but I always end up getting in a mess, I'll just show you. Right, these, these are a load of pallets that I stripped down the day before Christmas. They were all piled there, piled high up to the roof. So I've stripped them all down, so they just need the nails and things taken out. Um, but I just, I can never seem to keep it tidy. So, my sort of New Year's thing is, I'm really gonna work on my workshop. Uh, instead of doing projects, I've, I've done enough projects from my bar now. So what I'm thinking is, make the workshop a project in itself and uh, and do it up properly and, and organize it properly you know there's some real examples on youtube of decent workshops um you know they all you know and they all seem to stay a lot more organized than me yeah off the top of my head weekend shedhead robert weekend shedhead his shed always looks immaculate, I don't know how he does it, but it looks good. Uh, Badger Workshop, uh, ju just a load. Uh, in the Workshop, David Jex is another one I watch. <clears throat> but they all seem to keep their workshops far more tidy than me, and I think it's because it's far more organised. So I'm, I'm going to give myself right up till end of, sort of summer to organise it build proper workbenches, um, put shop vacs in place, and really try and get on top of it. So that's what I'm gonna do. But today, as you can see, again, I'm probably gonna spend another, you know, half a day, well, I'm picking my gun down up in about four hours, but I need to spend another bloody half a day sorting it out. That's my lathe there, I covered that up over winter. The bandsaw, I've covered it up. And then some other stuff, I've just put in uh, polythene bags. That's uh, a little metal lathe there I've got there. And my sander and pillar drill. My shop vac there. Uh, my router table and a couple of grinders. And there's my chop saw and table saw. Through that door, I actually built another shed on the extension, made a bit of an extension on my garage. So that is the wood store. If I could open it. Can't really see in there. I've put a light in there, but right, so today I'm gonna get organized and throughout this year, year, I'm gonna make this into a shed to be proud of, shall we say. Well, that's my idea anyway. Right, let's crack on.
had that battery on charge about an hour and a half while I cleared all this pallet wood. That's all of it, nearly all of it. Not the same a lot, does it, for two hours' work? I've been waiting for a delivery off Amazon that I got. A little Christmas present to myself. Me and my wife don't really bother getting each other Christmas presents. So I've just heard a van outside and uh, I've gone to get it. So, my Christmas present. I'm going to open it now and show you what I bought myself. Cleared a bit of space for me. A new Vera. See what you know if if, if, if the packaging or the uh, the quality of the packaging is anything to go by, this Vera stuff it's really well packed. That's good quality packaging. You know it's a nice pitch on front. I'll come out into a bar to finish this off because it's a little bit better lighting in here. Uh, so yeah, that that the packaging really good. I just noticed in here there's like a stick on Velcro pad. And what I think that is for, is for sticking it on the side of your toolbox or something like that. And then you can stick that on there, like that. Or you can put it on your belt. Anyway, the actual screwdriver itself. 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So that's 32, 32 bits in there. And a screwdriver handle. It's not a ratchet or anything like that. But that doesn't matter because I've already got... A ratchet with my other set that I bought. I mainly bought this because I've had my other sets a few years now and the, the ends are wearing down. So, and these are a bit longer as well. So, this one for example, as against to, uh, I'm just showing you my old set. I've had this set about two years, I think, something like that. And whilst it's been brilliant, The bits aren't quite as long. So that's it. Allen Keys, Phillips, Hex, Flatheads. Anyway, 32 decent bits in there. This cost me £56 off Amazon. Like I say, I've had this one probably a couple of years. This cost me 90, 90, this one was 96 pounds, but this has got the ratchet with it. And then this one is the first Vera that I bought. This one was 160 pounds. And this has got exactly the same in it. And then it's got extensions, all sorts. But the fact that this is my sorry that's an angled bit on there and it's got all the sockets and all the uh, allen keys and whatnot in there but the fact that this is my third one of these Vera kits actually it's my fourth I bought a little screwdriver that I'd um, uh, like an opening in the top of it, but I broke it and I just kept that out of it, so I keep that in here now. But yeah, really good kit, essential for what I do, love it. Just a quick one while we're in here, might as well show you in here as well. <clears throat> um, although my workshop is a right mess, I've managed to keep my man cave, what I call it, my bar, a little bit tidier. I'll just give you a quick look at it, right quick before we go back in the uh, workshop 
So this is my bar here. Got my wood burner there. Bit of a log stove. That's my bar. Dartboard. A lot of these projects that I've got in here, like this mirror and stuff like that. Um, the the fridge. That's a fridge. I've actually got videos on making them. My helmet stand there. <clears throat> but yeah. So I try and keep this place as tidy as I can, but sometimes I end up spilling over my sort of projects into here sometimes because it's a bit warmer and uh, I've got more room and it's easier to do the filming. But over Christmas I've tried to keep it tidy because we've had a couple of parties in here and we're having New Year's in here. So it needs to be... Uh, my wife will go mad with me if I make a mess and start bringing woodwork and stuff in here. Put a blanket up there, that's my garage door. Put a blanket up there to keep it a bit warm and it cuts a bit of noise out as well because I live on the side of the main road. That's my pool table actually. There's a video on that as well. I've converted that into a cheap, um, it's a slate bed pool table, but I converted that from a cheap nasty thing to something that would just fit better in my bar. So there's a video on that and there's a video there on a coffin that I built uh, with a soldier on the front I'll just zoom in on that, you'll see it middle of that out of nails but there's videos on all of them if you want to see them and a lot of how I put this bar together right, back in the workshop Right, that's my pile of decent wood. It's took me, well, I bet there's a day there. <clears throat> but then what I do with all the stuff that's that's cracked and no good like this. And then I'm gonna chop all this lot up for fire. I've got a big pile there. I'm gonna chop all that for firewood. There, there's a nice burn in there. A nice free heat. Literally, as I was putting that out, somebody pulled up to take it away. That's how fast the scrap goes around here. Of everything I'm doing in here, I think one of the most essential things is putting this workbench on wheels so that I can move it around. Uh, so that's, I'm going to clear it, take everything off the bottom, flip it over, and I'm going to try and put some wheels on it, make it more well. And these are what I've got for it. So I'm hoping these do the job. I've got them up from them old mobility chairs.
So what I've got is these, it's like an angle iron with two wheels on. I got it off, out of a skip, it were on a, um, a, like a, a sitting room chair, like a, a, a riser recliner chair. Um, and it, I just, there were basically about six screws in it holding it onto this chair, so I thought, oh, I love that. So I was going to attach it there, but my thoughts now are to cut a piece attach that to the leg and then attach the bar to, to that so I think that's what I'm going to do Table saw, this has always been on wheels anyway. Pull that out now. And if I need that extra feed, that just fits nicely on there. So if I need that extra uh, feed out table, that goes nicely on there. But it just it just gives me a lot more room to work with, makes things a lot more easier. Um, I've actually got some paint, so I'm thinking about painting the floor. But now that things on wheels, I can move everything to one side of the workshop, paint half the workshop floor, and then the day after, move it all back and paint the other half. So that's that's the sort of thing I'm going to do now. I'm also going to uh, get some proper cupboards built. So that I can store things properly and they don't get dusty and one thing and other. So yeah, a couple of good weekends well spent really. Uh, so just watch this space, I'm going to try and make this into a really nice looking workshop and uh, let's see what I can do with it. Thanks again for watching, I'll see you again. Maybe I won't see you again, maybe you don't like it. Hopefully I'll see you again. See you in a bit, bye.